Hey, welcome to High Five. 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 Yeah. yeah. High five. Hey, you know, today we wanted to talk about forgiveness. Yes. I was thinking how completely God forgives us and wipes the slate clean, never to remember it again, and how sometimes we forgive and don't wipe the slate quite so clean. Yeah. Isn't, well, isn't he a good guy? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he's a really yeah. good guy. Yes. I, I was thinking, too, that... Uh, People a lot of times feel like, yeah, one of these days I'm going to forgive. I'm going to get to that place where I'm going to release that person. Why not just do it today? Why wait for any specific time? Just say to God, Lord, help me to release that person. Help me to walk in the freedom that you've made for me through the blood of Jesus. Really, when you hold unforgiveness, it really is more limiting for you than it is for them. You know, we always say that, uh, uh, well, I'm going to forgive but I'm not going to forget. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, um, I guess there's some wisdom in how you conduct your steps and stuff like that. But what if, what if Jesus treated us that way? What if, what, what if he <laughs> yeah. said, you know, well, I'm going to forgive you, but you know, I'm not going to forget. See, perfect love casts out fear. Amen. Okay. That's what the word says. And I think that the reason that we uh, don't operate in perfect love when it comes to forgiveness is because we're afraid we're going to get hurt again. We're yes. afraid we're going to lose something. And, and you know, <clears throat> if we knew Jesus the way Jesus would like for us to know him, we would know that there's nothing we can lose by giving. There's nothing yes. we can lose that he can't restore. There's no blessing we can give up that he can't give back. Well, it's interesting Amen. that he would talk about the giving, you know, there's nothing by giving that we can lose because actually the word forgiving means to pre-think before any offense has happened to give, for Amen. give. That's and true. so one time I decided, I'm going to forgive these people. I'm going to forgive these people. And I did real well till somebody mentioned their name and uh, then I hadn't quite forgotten what they right. had done, but something amazing happened. God gave me a dream and in my dream, I saw my sister that had passed away. And when I woke up, God said, what do you remember about your sister? And I said, she was kind. She was funny. She was great. And he said, did you ever fight? And I said, no. <laughs> and he said, you were sisters. You fought all the time. Mm -hmm. But when she died, you chose to remember that which was good and lovely and great about her. Mm -hmm. And he said, the person that offended you, that did you in, all you think about is what they did, how it hurt you, and why they said this. And he said, to forgive. Go ahead and think something good and lovely and great about them. And I said, there's nothing good or lovely or great. Yeah. And then I remembered a few good things. And by the end of my thinking, how good those people had been to me, I thought, oh, they were just silly what they did. I released them. I forgive them. And now they can mention their names. You can mention their names. And I am I mean, not I, offended. I, no, 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 try not to right now. <laughs> forgive me. I, 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 hope I, I hope I walk in, in good fruit and forgiveness as I, as I talk about this part of this aspect. But especially right now in the body of Christ, you know, mm -hmm. I got to say, I have seen a lot of grudge holding and yes. name calling and hating of people that really are our brothers and sisters right. among our brothers and especially sisters. Especially if they think differently than we do. And I hate it. No, <laughs> no, but, uh, but, uh, no, but the thing of it is, is that it gets very complicated because, you know, um, as we infight, as we name call, as we refuse to go by the principles of love believes the best of one another and everything, as we refuse to forgive, as we refuse to leave people off the hook for things that they've done even, um, the world watches and the world notices that that either we walk with a supernatural love toward one another, mm -hmm. like John 17 talks about, or we don't. And if we don't, then we're just like them. And what, is, what do they have to gain by being like us? And, and I think it's really important that, especially in the body of Christ, especially among the brethren, that we start restoring, letting people off the hook, and going towards something good. Yes. Amen. You know, when I'm thinking about forgiveness, one of the things that comes to my heart is just this, in the same way you were saved. You were saved by faith. You can forgive people by using your faith. Yeah. You may not immediately feel yes. real, you know, like you want to real be real buddy, buddy, buddy with that person. But you take that faith step and you put it in Jesus's hands and you say, Father, I really will to let this person go. Let this person be free. Release them from whatever you held them to. 
And I'm going to tell you something. Um, God takes it from there and it works 100% of the time. Remember Jesus said, answering Peter's question, Master, how many times should I forgive? Seven times? And Jesus said, how about 70 times seven? Yep. So you can do this by faith. This is my proverb. If you need to receive it, you better be ready to give it. Amen. We've been so forgiven by the Lord Jesus, and we are able to forgive. Amen? Amen. Amen. High, High five. five. High five. High five. High five, guys. High five. High five. Yes. Yeah. Amen.